am Dr. Vikash Sahu, Director Cardiac Anesthesia, ECMO and Transplant Services at the Astro Ramesh Group of Hospitals. In our clinical practice, we come across a lot of patients who present to us with sudden onset of severe heart and lung failure. The causes of these could be multifold and they are generally organ specific. Sudden onset of severe respiratory failure can occur either as a result of infection that is severe pneumonia, trauma or aspiration ultimately leading to ARDS and septic shock. There is inability to maintain saturations more than 88% in these patients despite maximal medical therapy and mechanical ventilation. Similarly, severe and sudden heart failure can also occur following a massive heart attack that is acute myocardial infarction with cardiogenic shock or when a clot dislodges and lodges into the pulmonary artery leading to massive pulmonary embolism leading to cardiogenic shock, following cardiac surgery, following postpartum cardiomyopathy that is following delivery heart failure can occur or following a viral infection that is viral myocarditis. Hypothermia as well as uh, drug toxicity can also lead to heart and lung failure. Now these patients generally have a very high mortality of up to 80 to 90 percent and the commonest cause of mortality in these patients is multi-organ failure. If we can prevent this multi-organ failure then the outcome in these patients could be different. Hence when we are treating any such patient who is not responding to maximum intervention then one modality that can be considered is what is called as ECMO or ECLS. ECMO stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation or extracorporeal life support. It is nothing but a process by which blood is transferred into a machine which function, temporarily functions like a heart and lung. Oxygen is added, carbon dioxide is removed and blood is pumped back into the body. Now remember that ECMO is a temporary measure. All it does, it provides rest to the heart and the lungs and allows, gives it time to recover. ECMO can be initiated either percutaneously or through a surgical uh, option. It is available for all age groups from newborns to adults and it can be run from a few hours, few days to up to a few weeks.